Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Chut Gabrine. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Let's first address the two elephants in the room. Yes, I did get braces. Again, this is my second set of braces and I'm embarrassed as is. So let's just try and not pay attention to this area and just look look in my eyes. Don't look in this area right here, disregard it. So if I am talking weirdly, I apologize. I am getting used to talking with these on. It is a little bit difficult, so I do have a bit of a lisp. It's only gonna be for the next two years, so let's hope that these next two years is gonna fly quickly, because I really just, I can't wait to get these off. And they are ceramic, which is probably why, you know, it looks like there's something on my teeth, but you're not really sure what it is. It's braces. The other elephant is, I cut my thumb this morning. Anyway, today's video is going to be another new in haul video. You guys seem to really love these, which is good because it gives me an excuse to shop more and then you guys are happy and everyone's happy. So I'm gonna keep doing them for you guys. Except today I'm trying a new format where I actually talk to you guys about the items while I try it on, um, instead of talking about it and then inserting clips afterwards. I think that this might be more engaging. So let me know if you do prefer this format. You know, we're still trying things out. We're still testing things so all your feedback is definitely welcome if you're new here my name is sal sabilla and i make videos on fashion and styling and just daily life here in melbourne so if you're into that hit the subscribe button or suss out my other videos and join the family i have a few things from the jill sander uniqlo collection which is what i'm wearing now i have a few things from cause and i have something from margella <music> let's just talk a little bit about this collaboration because it's definitely one of the most highly anticipated collaborations that Uniqlo has done. They have continued their collab with JW Anderson, uh, they've done one with Marimekko, they've done one with Murakami, so they've partnered with a diverse range of designers. Um, but I'd say the Jill Sander collaboration is probably the one that I think this is the collab that resonates the most with Uniqlo's existing clothes. Uniqlo's existing clothes, that sounds like a tongue twister. Anyway, if you guys saw like the pictures of people lighting outside the Japanese stores and Singapore stores and Indonesian stores, it was crazy. Like the, the lineup was insane. And I'm not surprised because Japanese clothing to me has always been about clean minimalism. That's what Uniqlo is, right? I feel like Uniqlo is the affordable version of Jill Sander anyway. I'm a big fan of the Jill Sander house myself. It's a brand that I personally would wear on an everyday basis. Once I get to that point, I will. And Luke and Lucy Mayer is just, what they've done to the design house is incredible and I can't wait to talk more to you guys about it in future videos. This is the only way that people can buy into the brand and have a piece of, of, the, of the design house because we're all fans of Jill Sander. So I got this blazer. Now I still have the tags on it because I'm actually trying to decide if I still want to keep it. It is a beautiful blazer, it's gorgeous. So this is 100% wool on the outer shell and then the lining um, is polyester. But the interesting thing about this, don't mind my lack of ter fashion terms, sorry for my fashion students, they're probably like hating me right now. It's actually lined with raw cotton. It helps the jacket sit a lot better on the body. So if you notice here on my arms, you can see that there's a lot of like creasing, right? And it's because the arms are lined with polyester. So the combination of polyester lining and then a wool outer shell results in this sort of creasing situation, but it's comfortable. It's comfortable in the arms and it doesn't feel tight or anything. I think most like high quality suits, um, they're always lined with a heavier fabric inside to help with the structure of the jacket. I really appreciate design codes that serve as practical when it comes to making the, the clothes look better and, and fit better and feel better because that's at the end of the day clothes should make you feel good. It should be nice to wear. You shouldn't have to feel restricted or anything. I really like blazers like this where it's loose. It's a single button as well. I feel like I can drive in this. I feel like I can sit at my desk for eight hours in this and feel fine. Um, and that's something I really think about when it comes to clothes. I really do think about how I'm going to live in the clothes, how I'm going to walk in it, how I'm going to drive in it, how I'm going to sit down in it, because that's what clothes are doing. You know, you're going to be doing that in clothes. So those are elements that I really look for when it comes to especially clothes that I plan to wear on a more everyday basis, like for work. I look for comfort elements for sure. This jacket is nothing short of that. Considering the fact that it's wool, it's really lightweight, it's really easy to wear. It's not itchy, it's just, 
it's really well made it is well made even though it's uniqlo quality but the design definitely is there i think if you were to use raw fabric it would be in the arms it would be a little bit hard for mobility it would be hard to move around um, so using it only in the body of the jacket just maintains the wool the structure of the wool and prevents a lot like creasing whereas the arms you can see the creases right you need that kind of mobility but in here it looks really nice and clean so i really like that and it just sits really nicely on your body i think i've convinced myself in keeping it so i think i'm going to keep it and this is one way that i would wear it so i actually got this is also kind of new um uniqlo tank tops when it comes to my outfits you'll notice a pattern kind of always have the same um top underneath i just like to keep it simple when it comes to my top because my favorite part of the outfit is always the jacket or the coat that i'm wearing so i really like these uniqlo tank tops they're made out of like a crepe chiffon material they're only 20 dollars and they're sleeveless they're amazing um really good fabric washes really well and i wear them under everything and then i'm just wearing these trousers this is actually another thing that i purchased but we'll we'll get to that later the next item that i picked up is this shirt it is a bow collar shirt is this a bow collar fashion students correct me if i'm wrong is this a bow collar or is it just a collarless shirt <laughs> i don't know i forgot to mention as well with my blazer i purchased this in a size medium so for reference i normally am a small but i tried on the small and i think i just like the fit of this more i liked it a little bit more loose a little bit more oversized so i got the medium for reference i'm 160 centimeters and i'm a petite body frame with curves so it's a it's a bit of an interesting combination when it comes to finding clothes that fit me so i do have my scarf tucked into here so there's a little bit of a bulkiness here don't mind that but i wouldn't normally wear a scarf like this um with this kind of shirt usually with shirts i prefer to wear square hijabs where they're kind of short and i can just tie it in the back that way there's not a lot of fabric going on which doesn't interrupt you know the shirt and how it fits there were a lot of uh, variations of shirts that they had but this is the one that I liked the most. I did try on basically all of them. I find that with Japanese brands, you know, from Comme des Garçons to Uniqlo, their sizing tends to be quite petite. Um, and although I said that I am a petite body frame, like I said, I'm also curvy. So I can't fit into, like it fits on my shoulders, but it won't fit on my chest. And so that's always an issue for me. Uh, that's why I was really happy to find this shirt because it was, it's loose. It's not super tight fitting. So you can see here it's longer in the back. And then it's shorter in the front and i think it's a really good length for my height as well it has a split hem on the side which makes it sit better on your body especially if you're more curvy uh, because there's uh, like i guess room for the shirt to move around and then it's also got this ribbing detail on the um, bib this is actually an extra small and you can see it's pretty loose and with me as well i like the option of wearing it open so you can do that with this one wear it as like a light sort of jacket and just wear it in a more casual manner it's nice because it opens up your torso especially if you use a contrast shirt like this i've chosen white which can clearly define where my torso ends and where my legs begin so that way my body is still defined but i'm still being modest and then you can also add a jacket over this like a blazer it's gonna pull down the arms does anyone else get annoyed when the arms aren't pulled down properly you can see how wearing this open like wearing the shirt open and adding this white tank top underneath can add so much character and dimension to the outfit i just find that layering is such a beautiful thing when it comes to styling it's one of the best ways you can level up your outfit is by layering and there's definitely an art to it and a technique to it i'm so excited i'm gonna do a video on the art of layering <laughs> stay tuned for that subscribe if you haven't already then you can also roll up the cuffs on top of the blazer but just have fun with styling it's all about experimenting and going outside of your comfort zone and yeah you just don't know unless you try there is no really wrong way to go about it you end up finding your rhythm with style as time progresses and with trial and error it's not something that you wake up one day and you get your style perfectly right and it's also something that's always evolving so don't be so hard on yourself like it's okay to change your style as you get older I make the best chocolate smoothies no cap excuse the hijab sometimes yeah i struggle with like oh what do i do with this extra fabric sometimes i want to buy like two of the same color and have like a shorter version for when i don't want any of the fabric to show it's difficult it's, it's difficult 
I'll do a video on it later. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys two things that I picked up from Country Road. Now, I know I do have some international viewers here. So Country Road is an Australian brand and it's kind of like a mid... It's a high-end brand, but it's not, it's not a designer brand. It's just classic sort of um, designs. Uh, really heritage to Australian sort of style very simple so they do really nice basics first item that I picked up is this beautiful crepe de chine uh, button-up shirt now I love crepe fabrics because they are opaque which means I don't have to worry about it being transparent as a you know modest dresser and it's really nice on the skin like there is a texture to it but it's not irritating i'm really sensitive when it comes to fabric i'm just a fussy person in general but i make sure not to bother anyone else but myself so i'm quite sensitive to fabrics and so i don't like anything itchy on my skin um, and i think that crepe is fine and it just falls really nicely on the body it looks amazing the quality always is going to look amazing with crepe de chine i prefer over wearing silk just because silk you know if you don't iron it it's going to look bad whereas with a crepe fabric um it you don't need to iron it so it has like these really nice collars and it's got covered buttons as well which i think is really nice and sleek and it just fits so so well the cuffs are nice and long it tailors in in the waist and then it's a really nice length what shape is this this is like a like an hourglass sort of shape it's really narrow on the shoulders but then it tapers in here and then it draws out just a really beautiful black shirt i think everyone needs a crepe black shirt in their wardrobe a button-up one um, it's just really classy and really elegant. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to dinner, you can wear it underneath your coats, your blazers, you can wear it on its own. I love clothes that are clearly designed for a woman's body, but maintains modesty and elegance. That's the kind of balance that I look for when it comes to clothes. This is the fabric. So it's not lined, this is just one layer. It's actually really nice and thick. It's just beautiful, honestly, it's really nice. The thing that I always buy a lot of is trousers because they stretch easily and then you have to get new ones and you replace it. So I've been through so many ones. I feel like I have a good benchmark for what makes a good pair of trousers, like high quality and it looks good. Honestly, these ones have got to be one of the best I've ever tried on. And the pants are made out of triacetate. I love, love, love this fabric. It's one of my most favorite fabrics at the moment. It just feels amazing on the body. It fits well, it looks expensive. You don't have to iron it, it's opaque, it's literally everything you want. Uniqlo does great trousers too, which is where I usually buy them from, but this is different. This feels amazing. These trousers fit me so well, they're so comfortable, they have a wide band. These are a perfect shape. They are skinny, but they're still straight. They don't taper in that much. If you're in Australia, look to Country Road if you're wanting um, good basics for your wardrobe, especially if you work in a corporate environment and you want more sort of like office kind of clothes. One thing that I picked up from Zara is this coat. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really shop from Zara as often as I used to, but sometimes I do find a really good item and it's usually a coat. I find that they do their coats really well if you know how to look for it and if you know and if you just get lucky as well. I have bought all my coats online. The stock in store and the stock online is completely different so I don't even bother going into store. It's also very overwhelming and I don't usually end up finding anything I like anyway. This is a double-breasted wool coat. It is a grey sort of melange wool and it's lined with polyester. And the length is perfect. I love long coats. When it comes to length, uh, I always like to go for either really long or really short just because anything in between cuts me off at a weird point in my body and it just yeah it just doesn't make me look any taller. It's still available if you guys are interested. I just got it a few days ago. It fits really nicely and even though it's a you know a heavy duty like wool coat it definitely doesn't feel restricting it doesn't feel heavy it's actually it feels quite light and it feels very comfortable to wear and I got this in a extra small so it fits me really well on the shoulders it just fits really well that's why I really love it and I like that it's gray it's not like another black coat moving on to the things that I picked up from COS this coat oh my I love this coat my friends seem to also really love this every time i wear this there is no doubt someone will compliment me i wore this coat when i bought my celine bag and the sales associates they all thought this was a celine coat it's really nice this is just one of those gems that you find and i'll tell you why it's so good first of all i have a thing for trench coats it's one of my favorite jackets or things to buy I will spend a lot of money on a trench coat. It's just my favorite thing to wear. But I don't like traditional like Burberry, Garbadine trench coats. I like loose trench coats like this 
where it's more of like a trench jacket. And I really love the fabric that they chose for this. This is a twill um, material, but it's a very nice, like it's a thin twill. It's not like a thick restricting twill. It's really nice and breezy. I can easily get away with wearing this on a summer night. It's also in this beautiful dark navy color, almost looks black. The incredible thing about it is the tailoring of this. You can see here, it really nicely tapers in here and then it pans out all the way to the bottom. So it's an A-line sort of coat. It's got cut out lapels here and then they're quite short. So they stop right here at the torso, which is very flattering. Again, makes your torso shorter and your legs longer. It's got big wide pockets to balance this all out. The cool thing about it as well is the back. It doesn't have a belt. It actually just has these two button adjustments. So you can make it more narrow, which is how I normally wear it, which is how I'm wearing it now. Or you can make it wider if you want a more oversized sort of look if you want to maybe wear it over your shoulders and the sleeves kind of pan out a little bit so it's just really flattering it's a quite a feminine sort of silhouette but again it's got that clean minimal look and depending on how you style it it's you know it can exude different moods so i'll definitely do a video on that there's not much else to say like you look at it and you can tell this is well well made well designed i'm absolutely in love with this jacket i always feel amazing when i put it on and it just fits me really really well and i wish that they brought this out in every color because if they did i definitely would buy it okay we're almost there guys now i purchased this beautiful dress this is a cotton poplin dress and look at the sleeves how cute are they i love anything with a dramatic sleeve add some drama to your life the good kind of drama this is the only drama I'd want in my life. This is a dress, as you can see. I'm just wearing it with trousers just because I can't be bothered taking off my trousers and everything. But you can also wear it like this. This is why I like anything buttoned up because you can wear it open, you can wear it closed, and it's a whole nother look. So it just adds more variation to the item and you get more value out of the item. But it is meant to be a dress, so it does button all the way down. And it's just a really, really cute dress. I've worn this so much. I've worn it to dinner with heels and a clutch. I've worn it to uh, brunch on a Sunday with sneakers and a crossbody bag. It's just a really easy dress to wear and it just, it's really cute. And it looks very flattering on my body as well. Um, again, it fits me really nicely on my shoulders and I love anything with puffy sleeves and then like a fitted waist. I think that kind of silhouette when it comes to dresses is very flattering for my body type. And it's got pockets as well, which is really nice, always appreciated. And it's also collarless, which means it's not gonna, you know, get in the way of your hijab if you wanna wear a longer hijab with it. You can add a nice belt to this to make it more dramatic. You can wear it with boots. It's just a really easy dress to have in your wardrobe. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. How are you guys holding up? You have made it pretty far if you're still watching, so thank you. I really do appreciate it. It's been a long day of filming and it's raining right now, so the world is just against me today, my thumb included. So I'm gonna wrap this up with the item that I picked up from Margiela. Here's the box and here's the little shoe bags for anyone who was interested in how they came. Um, but I got the Margiela replica shoes the gats i'm obsessed with these and i definitely want to buy more this is not going to be my only pair i'm looking to buy the dark brown one with the dark brown suede with leather with black leather with top stitching mm, that's why i love my job the top stitching you guys know i have a thing for top stitching do you know well now you know i love top stitching detail it's one of my favorite favorite design details in clothes and that's one of the reasons why i love my so much because that's um, the sig their signature. This is the one with the paint splatter. Now I was very patient to wait for the paint splatter that I liked. Every season they come with different colors for the paint splatter. And so I wanted to wait for the right color combination. And this was the one that I really liked because it has all the primary colors. They don't have these anymore. So if you want it, you gotta go get it. Don't think too long because they're gonna be gone. Okay, we good? We good, okay. <laughs> I got size 37, which is, I'm normally a 36 in Italian shoes, uh, so these do run a bit small. Shout out to Sierra if you're watching this. Girl, I love your videos. She made a video on the sizing for this, so that helped me decide on what size I should get. I will be doing a full video on these, like a full review and styling sort of video on it, so I won't talk too much about it now. And hopefully that will give you an incentive to subscribe if you want to see a full review on it. So subscribe if you haven't already. There's your, there's your sign. If you need a sign, there's your sign. <laughs> so that concludes my new in. I know that there was quite a bit to cover. Let me know what you think of this filming style. If you like this, 
sort of um, format where I talk about the pieces while I wear them. If you guys enjoy, definitely give my channel a subscribe, watch my other videos, give it a like, comment, share, let me know your thoughts. It really will help in supporting my channel. And for everyone who has supported me so far, again, a big thank you to you guys. I see you and I really, really appreciate the love that you guys have given me. It is definitely pushing me to continue making content for you guys. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to another video of mine and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.